Here's a binomial expansion um, to the seventh degree. That's going to be a beast, except they're merciful enough to just ask for the fourth term in the expansion. And we just have to figure out what are we going to look like by the time we get to the fourth term. If we started our expansion as if we were going to do the entire expansion, we would start with C70 with some factors. C71 would be our second term. C72 is our third term. And C73 is our all-important fourth term. Now here's something worth noting. Hopefully at this stage we know that C77 is equal to C70. C76 is equal to C71. Combination 75 equals combination 72. And more importantly for this problem, combination 74 is combination 73. We can actually use combination 74. Uh, that with n being given as 4. So I'm going to set this up as combination 7, 4, but I want to check how many x's I need. I know I need some x's and I know I need some negative 10 z factors. So x's, I would need 7 x's here, 6, 5, 4. There we go. There's our 4. There's our n value popping up again. So how many negative 10 z factors do I need? I need to make up the difference from 7 to 4. I need three of those. Okay. Now as far as C74 goes, that's combination 74. We could do that on our calculator. We could use Pascal's triangle. Uh, heaven forbid, we could do it by hand if we were stranded on a desert island and had to buy coconuts by solving combinations for the natives. But we're going to go ahead and do this one with, uh, I'm just going to pull a Pascal's triangle number off. And this is 35. I've got an x to the fourth. I've got negative to the third, negative survives to the third, 10 to the third, 1,000, z to the third. So we end up with negative 35,000 x4 z to the third. Nice that we just had to find the one term.